everyone, I'm Jacqueline. Hi, I'm Kat. And this is Chronic Cocktails. So we are celebrating a very special day today. It's cocktail day. National cocktail day. Isn't it every day? Apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, in my world it is. It's every day. But um, if they're going to give me a national cocktail day, I will celebrate it. So we're going to make a pretty classic cocktail, um, but give it that Elian twist. So um, we're going to take the Sazerac and make it the Sazer Reefer. So um, this is a really fun cocktail. It's got its roots in New Orleans, actually. Um, and New Orleans itself has like a really fun history of cannabis, especially with like the jazz scene in the 1920s and 30s. Louis Armstrong actually had um, a slang name for cannabis called Muggles. So not just a non-magical person, it's actually cannabis. Um, and like, um, you know, Fax Waller had a song. There's so many, so many jazz artists have songs that actually like reference cannabis. So um, definitely once we're done making this drink, we're gonna put on some Louis Armstrong and just vibe. Um, so the Sazerac. So um, usually what you do is you start with an absinthe rinse and we actually infused some absinthe. That's part one of our two part infusion from this drink. So what we did is we took, um, I don't, normally what I would do is when I'm infusing alcohol directly, I take a whole bottle, take a whole eight, combine them. Decarb, de always decarb, so decarb your cannabis first, and then um, just let it sit um, in, you know, kind of a sunny spot, so if it's a little bit warm, um, so that infusion really gets fully, uh, you know, you want to get the most high. Yeah. This is Elian after all. So. Um, with absinthe, you don't usually use a lot in your cocktails, so I ended up taking just a third of a bottle and putting an eighth in, so it's a little bit stronger of an infusion, but you just don't use as much. So with this recipe, we only do a teaspoon. Um, traditionally with a Sazerac, you would actually just do a rinse and dump it, but we want to keep it in there. So um, we'll do a teaspoon of that, and then our second infusion is the can of bitters. And if you're fans of chronic cocktails, you know that we actually use the can of bitters already, um, but they're gonna be on our shelf for a really long time. It's such a versatile um, cocktail tool. You see it a lot in cocktails. And these are our um, Elian Elixir can of bitters, if you will. Um, so if you want to find the recipe for that, which I highly recommend, check out our blog. I detail the um, full month-long infusion process there. Um, so, do you know anything about absinthe? I don't. Okay. Know. Kind of a fun history, like um, the cannabis, it was actually outlawed for a while. A lot of people thought it had like psychoactive properties. Really, it was like just a lot of authors like just getting really, really drunk and having hallucinations. Hallucinations. Okay, you know I can't say that word, <laughs> but um, they call it the green fairy because literally they would see like a little green fairy. So um, I like to say that the green fairy ate some devil's lettuce. And that's where we get this infused absinthe. <laughs> and we stuck on the green theme here, and we put a chili verde in it. Ooh, um, okay. Really fun strain. It's got a lot of caryophylline, which is kind of peppery. Yeah. Um, so it goes really well with that rye yeah. flavor. Um, and it's a more social strain, which is good. You know, we're, yeah. we're vibing, we're listening to our jazz music, we've got our Sazerac. So, should we start mixing? Yes. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> what the that fun part? so good. Okay. So like I said, we're going to start with the absent, okay. and we're going to do a, a bit of a rinse, but we're going to keep it in there because we want to get the most high. Oh, so good. Right? Yeah. So it's got like kind of a black licorice yeah. flavor. Um, and then now we'll start mixing in our mixing glass. So we'll start with two ounces of rye. Um, we like to keep it local. We're in Sonoma County company, so we actually have Sonoma County rye now. Um, but Sazerac is actually a company. You can know make it with their rye they invented the drink because we have so much booze we want to add some sugar so um, we have simple syrup here so you'll do half an ounce of simple syrup and then next we're gonna do our can of bitters oh yeah almost forgot about this no nope, these are important <laughs> forgot about this no nope. um so it's about three to four dashes okay. and as we've talked about a dash is very um, unspecific, but 
but you did perfect, that looks great. So let's put some ice in there. Yep, just stir it on up. Great. Love it, it looks so good. Okay, and then, yep, we're just gonna strain it into our glass. folks. Yeah, super classic cocktail, Elian Twist. I'm um, great for cocktail day, great for any other Tuesday you want, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we don't judge. We just love to get the most time. All right, so we try? Yes, yeah. 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 so I'm ready. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. flavor shines through and it's really delicious but this is a boozy drink so we're yes. only gonna have one of these be responsible um but yeah we're gonna go five months on some Louis Armstrong so enjoy this yeah <laughs> cheers to getting the most high thank you so much for making me a cocktail thank you